guess we'll walk through there. Yeah. We'll make Where do you think we should go down, like, right by the cops? Uh, I don't know, because I thought they said they were meeting up that way and then walking down towards the bell tower. So it's kind of... Well, they were doing that on purpose to confuse people. That happened last well, year. Well, guess what? They were Well, last year they weren't here. They were in Carytown. Right, but they switched the thing around. You know, it's like, the, you know, it's like, you know, so, I mean, if there are enough people, like, in on it, or know, or are super determined to, like, you know, find out what's going on, then, uh, um, then they'll have, uh, they'll have a good number of people out, but, oh, there it is, is that it? There's something there. By the bell tower. Look at the pen trails today, that's some crazy freaking harp stuff right there. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, yeah, harp, speaking of, uh, harp, how about that, uh, crazy hail tornado storm, uh, uh you know, uh, um, you know, uh, after, uh, after the earthquake. Oh, and another thing about the earthquake, immediately they say it's from the same fault line. And then people are recanting and coming back on their story about that. Yeah. Swimming here. <laughs> uh, Monsanto, the GMOs, the genetically modified were uh, foods and stuff. Yeah, well, that pink, the the uh, chicken McNuggets that are all pink and yeah, that kind of it's that kind of stuff.
Alamo. Yeah, we should do something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
you'll get, you'll take care of.
quite a few people. You know, we, we've come out, we did uh, an association with Gun Race, so I'm not sure why I'm saying that. And I just improv to host at that last minute here. There's five or six of us, but I mean, I know some guys from the Patriots and the Real Overpass. Get rid of Cantor and get somebody else. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, I get back and forth. 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 All the police following the movement. Yeah, following the fucking, the movement's right. Like a bowel movement. <laughs> that guy kept saying bullshit. He was just incriminating himself so much during, during his speech. Because it was all bullshit. Uh. <sighs> I hope you got that guy fucking threatening me on camera. I'll fucking knock that guy out if he fucking uh, uh, touches me. I don't know all what I got on because every time I turn around, the, well, you saw I start him, losing right? battery. And I don't understand why my damn laptop won't go online either. Any organization, no group. This is our responsibility, okay? We have power. As citizens of this United States, we have power within our voice to rally together against or for a cause. I'm going to read something to you uh, as far as our state constitution, equality of rights of men and women, that all men are by nature equally free and independent and have certain inherent rights of which when they enter into a state society, they cannot by any compact deprive or divest the prosperity, namely the enjoyment of life and liberty with the means of acquiring and possessing property and pursuing and obtaining happiness and safety. The second section reads, people, the source of power. That all power is vested in and consequently derived from the people. The ma that magistrates are their trustees and servants, and that at all times, amenable to them. We have the power in our voices to exact change. Okay? We're marching not just against Monsanto, because I'm here to tell you that Monsanto isn't the only corporation here in these United States and in the world that is trying to get our money and putting a price point above our human freedoms, our human rights. They're not the only ones. Big agribusiness is actively trying to keep us from understanding what is in our food and keep us from keeping and keep us from labeling GMOs on our food and most of our processed food. Most of you realize by now there is a large percentage of our crops and our processed foods that contain genetically modified organisms and we don't know it. This is the assumption based on the soy, corn, and wheat that is being produced in these United States and across the world that contain or that have been produced from genetically modified organisms. This is an assumption. We know that it's in our food, but we, they, don't, they have the audacity to keep it from the labels. We don't know what it's doing to our bodies. We are the lab rats. I'm here to tell you we are the lab rats. We are the experiment. If we stand up together as one collective voice, we can demand that individuals and companies label our food and show us what's in our food. That power, that these unalienable rights that we have 
should not be restricted to any corporation, any company, any one individual. We have equal rights. So when we march, we're marching for freedom of speech. We're also marching for our human rights. Okay? So the issue was, the issue is that Monsanto is, uh, is making decisions on our behalf that are unconstitutional, unjust, that we don't know what they're putting in our food. They're not the only ones. Syngenta, DuPont, other big agricultural businesses are taking advantage of our human rights by not letting us in on the conversation. They don't have our consent. I have not given consent to put genetically modified organisms in my food. I have not given consent to experiment on the, the nation. I have not given consent for them to experiment on my body. You shouldn't either. As a collective voice, we stand here today to march against that ideal, that, that false American, that false nationalistic ideal that we have to agree with everything that corporations and uh, society tells us is true. It's false. We don't have to agree with shit. I stand here as a citizen and telling you that you have the same rights, you have the same mastery of your, your life, your livelihood that I have, that you can stand up for these rights and no one can tell you no. Monsanto cannot tell you no. Big agribusiness cannot tell you no. Corporations and capitalistic organizations cannot tell you no for the very reason that we control their bond. They, we control what they grow, we control what is purchased. But we have to show that control. We cannot sit here and say, well, we can't do anything about it, okay? Our silence is telling them that they can go ahead and do things with our consent, that they can go ahead and put chemicals in our food with, their, with our consent. If you do nothing, this will continue to happen. We are only a small group here. If it was 300 or 1,000, it's only a small voice, but together, that voice will reign over top of corporate America. It will reign over top of price points, money, and the capitalistic ideal that is false, and will tell everyone that we decide what's in our food. Now, there are many different ways. There are many different ways that uh, that we can, many different alternatives to eating GM crops and again, genetically modified organisms, they make those in a lab, okay? They're deriving or they're uh, getting genetic, genetic materials from one organism and then putting them in another and it is, it is not science. I'm telling you, they're not putting it in a particular place. They're putting it anywhere to see what happens, to make sure that they, the plants that we grow are resistant to something. They have no idea of the long-term effects or the long-term outcomes it has on our environment and our ecosystem. They do not or do not care about the effects that it has on our bodies. So we should care. Okay, so in labeling genetically modified organisms, we are saying to our governments, we're saying to uh, the society that we have a right to know. By standing here today, you're saying to everyone else who does not know that there is something in your food that is not natural. There's something that you're eating that's not natural, that has been linked to developing carcinogens, has been linked to cancer, that has been linked to allergic reactions that go far beyond uh, uh, hives. It, it goes to long-term allergic reactions and effects. And we need to know what's in our food so we know to how to combat those, those allergies. So, I'm not gonna talk very long. Uh, I want you guys to know that there are alternatives to eating genetically modified uh, foods, GE food, gen genetically engineered foods and crops. You can grow your own to start, okay? The benefit of living in an urban environment is that we don't get that drift. We don't get that pollen. We don't get the uh, pollinate. Uh, we don't get the pollination from the GE crops into our crops because there are no GE crops in the city. Okay, we can confine and control how we grow our food in the city. Some people see it as a disadvantage to have urban uh, crops, have urban agriculture, to be growing indoors. 
it's just new innovation. We can we can um, capitalize on innovative ways of how to sustain and grow our own food. But there's a problem. We don't eat everything that comes from urban uh, societies. We don't eat always. We don't always eat locally. And if it is local, it's in uh, rural societies. It's in uh, out in Amelia. It's out in Powhatan. It's out in the country where these farmers that are growing organically are susceptible to that drift, to that, poly that pollination of the GE crops. Not only are they susceptible to getting contaminated, the crops are contaminated by these GE crops, but they're also susceptible to Monsanto bringing in their powerful arm and saying, these crops belong to me. Your livelihood belongs to me. These are the back, these people are the backbone of these United States. They are the backbone of our society, our growers. They are getting their rights every day taken away from them because society has allowed them. We are society. We are the people. And as we the people, we have inalienable rights and justice to do what we need to do to take back those rights, to stand up and tell corporations no. I want to hear from you guys before I continue. What are we going to tell corporations? Yeah. What are we going to tell them that they can, can they do with our food? What are we going to tell them? Yeah. What can we say to them as they're standing in front of us with lies, chemicals, with them saying that GE foods and GE crops are uh, indistinguishable from organically grown crops? What are we going to say? Yeah. I need to hear you. What are we going to say? Yeah. Bullshit. <laughs> It's not anybody else's job but yours to tell the people that are supposedly in charge that no, we're not going to stand for this. No, we are going to demand labeling. We do not sign on or consent for experiments being run on our children. I see a lot of children here. We sign up. I see a lot of children here. Can children raise your hands? I know we've heard it before. It seems like rhetoric. It seems like a broken record. But the children are our future. Okay? The food that we are feeding them will directly affect their growth and development. If we're feeding them poison, then they will grow as if they were being fed poison. They will not grow healthy. We are having increased rates of asthma, allergic reactions, so many health disparities because of what we eat, the overprocessing, okay, the chemicals, the antibiotics. Those things are not labeled. We have to form organizations to say things that don't have GMOs, that don't have bo uh, bovine growth hormone, that don't have antibiotics. We assume, because they don't tell us, that it is in our food right now. That is not right. It's not just. This is our responsibility to stand up. And by coming here today, you have taken the first step. The next steps are as follows. Make sure that you are supporting labeling legislation. Get in touch with individuals that are also pushing legislation. Uh, Erica and myself have gone to uh, the House and we've gone to different senators to push labeling legislation. Their stance right now is that they want to run feasibility studies to even see if it's necessary to label our food. Bullshit. What do we say to that? Bullshit. Damn right bullshit. <laughs> no, when we're looking at this, when we're looking at this from a very objective angle, when we're looking at this from a very objective angle, those that are in control of our food have ties. You know that they have ties with governmental officials. You know that they have ties with all of corporate America. You know that they have ties for lawmakers, politicians. Not to say that we should not be working with them, but to say that we the people represent the United States, not them. They are our representative. They are our representative. So we should tell them how we feel and understand where we're coming from. The next step, okay? Grow your own food. Yeah. 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 If you don't understand nor trust what's in those stores, what's being processed and spoon-fed to you, then don't trust it. Make sure that you know where your food is coming from. Get in touch with local farmers markets, local farmers, talk to them. 
That's where we bridge the gap. Something that we didn't have in the last couple of years that is starting to reinvigorate or re, uh, we're, we're getting back into our society is that we can actually talk to our farmer. We can actually discuss where your, or your farming practices. Okay? The third thing is to please do not be silent. You have uh, many things at your disposal. You have social media. You have your phones. You have your voice to go and talk to your friends and people that are ill-informed or have no idea what a genetically modified organism is. You can sit them down and talk to them. They may not see this as a priority, but damn it, everybody in here that I'm talking to eats. Everyone that is here eats. Everyone that is alive eats. So it is our concern only to decide what goes in our food to make sure that we're eating healthy for the growth and success and betterment of our society and humankind as a whole. So we're going to march. I want you guys to make sure everyone has a flyer. We're going to march up Broad Street and we're going to shout, we're going to scream, we're going to chant, we're going to make sure everybody notices us because they have been ignoring us for far too long. Monsanto cannot ignore us, Syngenta cannot ignore us, big agribusiness cannot ignore us. It is us who funds them. We have the rights and the power to control what goes in our food, and I want to hear it. When they tell us that they can put whatever in our food, what are we going to say? No! When they tell us that genetically engineered foods are the same as conventionally grown and organic foods, what are we going to tell them? No! I'm hearing a lot of different things. As long as they yell in the negative. What are we going to chant? Are we going to practice chanting something specific? Last year we did um, the G. Hey, hey! Oh, oh! GMOs have got to go. Hey, hey! Oh, oh! GMOs have got to go. Hey, hey! Oh, oh! GMOs have got to go. Hey, hey! Oh, oh! GMOs have got to go. Hey, hey! But all right. So everybody, getting wild up and getting energetic, you can make up your own chance. Talk to your neighbors. That's the point that we're talking and we're conversing with our neighbors. I'm going to give it back to the organizer. If everybody's ready, then we're going to organize. We're going to give back. Thank you. Make him understand that Blue Ridge is not funded by...